Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we will learn how we can get user current location in our Android app. And we will not use Fuse Location Provider Client to get the user last known location. Instead, we will get user device actual current location. So let's look at this end result first. You can see we have a text view and a button here. If we click on this button, it gonna ask for the location permission. So let's allow it. And another pop-up dialog will show up. And this is for asking the user to turn on their location service because you can see that device location is currently turned off. So let's click OK and wait for some time. You can see in the status bar that device location is currently used in background. And here we go. We have our current latitude and longitude. And I can assure you that this is the current latitude and the longitude, not the last known location. And I'll put the link of source code of this example in the video description. So now let's build it. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification when we upload more content. And now in Android Studio, I have already prepared the layout. In here, I have used a linear layout and in the center of this layout, we have a text view and a button. Nothing special here. In the main activity, I have already initialized the button and the text view and assigned them by their following IDs. First, we will go to our Gradle script directory and open build.gradle file module app in its name. In here, we have to first add a location service dependency. For that, we have to go to this website. You will find the link of this website in the video description. And in here, you will find this play service location dependency. So let's copy it from here and paste this inside the build.gradle file. At the time the video is recording, the current latest version is 8.0.0. .0. You will always find the latest version of this dependency on that website. And now let's sync our project. Make sure you have internet connection available. After the sync is finished, go to your android manifest file.xml inside the manifest directory and in here we have to declare some permissions. The first one would be the access find location and second one would be the internet. Yes, we also need the internet connection to get our current location. Now we will head back to our main activity.java. Inside the onCreate method, we will call set onClick listener on our button. And inside the onClick method, first we have to check for the user permission. For that, first we have to check for the Android version. And I'm not gonna explain much how to request permission from user in runtime. Because I have already made a video on this topic, you can click the eye icon in the top right corner to see that video. And if the permission is granted, we have to check that if GPS is turned on or not. So we will create a separate method for it. So we will go outside of the onCreate method and in here private boolean and we will call it is GPS enabled. You can name it however you want. And in here first we will initialize our location manager. I am gonna call it location manager and set it to null. We also need a boolean. I am gonna call it is enabled and set it to false. And now we will initialize our location manager if location manager is null. So location manager equal to cast it to location manager get system service and the name of the service is context dot location service. And now we will take our boolean variable equal to location manager dot is provider enabled and the name of the provider will be location manager dot gps provider and now we will return our boolean variable because it is a boolean method so we have to return a boolean value what this method does is whenever it is called it return true if gps is turned on or false if it is off and now we will call this method in a if else statement if permission is granted 
if it's true that means device location is turned on and we can write our code to get the current location and in the else statement that means device location is turned off we can ask the user to turn on the location service and for that we'll create a separate method for it i'm gonna call it turn on gps it is red that means we haven't created it we're gonna click on this little red verb here and click the second option and this will create this method outside of the onCreate method and I'm not gonna write the whole code to ask the user to turn on their location because I have already created a separate video for it to turn on the device location you can click on the little eye icon on the top right corner to watch it or you can go to my github repository that is turn on location I'll put the link in the video description in here you can open this main activity.java and copy the whole code inside the onClick method and paste it inside this method I'm gonna reformat this code by pressing ctrl alt l and you may see lots of errors here don't worry we will solve this one by one so first this location request class for this we will go up here and write private location request I'm gonna call it location request and you can see that first errors is solved we don't need these lines of code in here so we'll cut it and paste it up here after assigning the following IDs and as for the remaining errors all we have to do is import the classes by pressing alt enter so I'm gonna quickly import all the classes here And as for the remaining error, all we have to do is change the request code to 2. And that's gonna resolve all our errors. And now if the GPS is turned on, we're gonna write location services dot get fuse location provider client. For the context, we can pass our main activity dot this dot request location updates. And it takes three arguments. First is the location request object that we have created above, comma, a location callback that will be created in a second, comma, and a looper. For that, we can pass our looper dot get main looper. And now for the location callback, we'll write new location callback. And we'll select this first method on location result. And click OK and we will keep the super call here and in the next line we will call question Lo services dot get fuse location provider client for the context we can pass our main activity dot this dot remove location updates for the location callback we can pass this because we are already inside the location callback method and this will stop our location updates because we only need one location and now we will check this location result that is provided by this on location result method is a null and contain a location for that location result dot get location dot size greater than zero if it does we will simply extract the latitude and the longitude from this result for that we have to create a integer i'm going to call it index equal to location result dot get location dot size minus one and now we'll create a double variable i'm gonna call it latitude equal to location result dot get location dot get pass our index integer here dot get latitude semicolon and i'm gonna do the same for our longitude And in these two variables here, we have our current location, latitude, and longitude. And we will simply display it inside our text view. Okay. 
ओके गाइस दैट्स इट दैट्स ऑल वी हैव टू डू टू गेट द यूजर डिवाइस काइंड लोकेशन एंड इन दिस प्रोसेस वी ऑल्सो नीड आवर इंटरनेट कनेक्शन I didn't add any functions to check that is net on or not because that's going to be the out of scope for this tutorial. We are assuming that user device already had internet connection. So now let's test it to see how it's work. Now our app is running. Let's click on this button here. And it is asking for the location permission here. Let's allow it. we have to click this button again because we didn't implement any callback methods and that's we're going to do in the next video it is asking and for the location to be turned on because you can see that this device location is currently turned off let's click okay here and we also have to click this button again because we didn't change this whole process that's why you have to click this button repeatedly and we will wait for some short time and here we go we have our kind locations latitude and longitude and i can assure you that it is kind location latitude and longitude not the last locations one that is saved in google play services okay guys that's it for today please leave a like if it's helpful and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you are new here take care